Hey coach, uh, welcome. I'm glad you found us on YouTube. A couple things. First of all, make sure you subscribe and like. That's super important. Um, also go over and make a, make sure you check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Uh, you know, a lot of, lot of state championships, a lot of national championships. Let me help you become a better basketball coach. Go over and check us out at teachhoops.com. Remember to subscribe. Enjoy the video. All right, so the first one is what? So the first one we'll go through is one minute finishes. Yep. Right, so we got five different finishes. There's the power finish. There's the stretch finish, the normal stretch finish. Yep. There's the same hand, same foot stretch finish. That's number three. And then there's a spin finish. It's number four. And number five is the sweep through. Remember the sweep through, you can either go high with the rainbow smacks or low with the football type. So right. there's two different possibilities. Yeah, two different possibilities, but that's under the same move. It's basically the same footwork. And you do it from the left and the right? You do it from the left and the right. You alternate each side. So Okay, so why don't you demonstrate one of each? Demonstrate one of each. All right, okay. so going through with the power finish first. That's number one. We'll roll it out. Off the catch. We're going to do a reverse pivot. So we're going to rip through. We're going to lead with our heel. On the right side, we'll be, on this side, we'll be dropping our left foot. Coming in, right here we're gonna land our feet wide in the shoulder width. Our shoulders are gonna be parallel to the baseline. Putting the ball on the outside, going up and finishing the layup. That's keeping our shoulders, the ball extended out here, so if the defender's on the inside of us, we go finish and keep the ball away from the defender. Okay. After I get my rebound on this side, make what it is, I'll roll it out to the opposite side, to the opposite elbow. Now I'll be dropping my right foot, leaving with that heel again, coming in, take my layup. Okay, so fast motion on this side. Here. Here. All right, so that's our power finish, that's number one. You want to do that first, Drew? You think you got that? Switch off. Yeah. But we can switch back and forth, that way you can kind of demonstrate. Yep. Okay. So then when you're looking at your own. Good. Once you're able to get there, so it's load off that reverse pivot. Power. Again, this is our power finish. It's important Good. to remember about these ones. Our shoulders stay parallel to the baseline. Okay? It's important where our shoulders are. So I don't want to facing the rim on these, which a lot of people do. The reason why, this is a move from when the defenders on the inside of us. And if we face the rim, we're putting the ball right into their hands. There's nothing between the defender yeah. and the basketball. We go shoulders here. Bring the ball out here. We have both of our shoulders in an outstretched hand in between the ball and the defender. So we want to keep as much distance between them as possible. So when you're practicing this, make sure that your shoulders stay parallel to the baseline. Okay. Number two, two. our stretch finish is kind of the opposite. Okay, so now instead of having our defender on the inside of us here, this is when we've beaten our defender. So our defender is behind us. So again, okay. that same concept of space with our shoulders and the outstretched hand between the ball and the defender remains the same. So now, Drew, Let's say I beat you, right? I don't want to go here and stretch it here because you're behind me, right? Now, instead of having my shoulders parallel to the baseline, I want to turn that to have my shoulders parallel to the sideline for this finish because now, as my defender trails me, I have two shoulders and an outstretched hand again between the defender and the basketball. So to go into this one, there's two different ways with footwork that you can do it. The first one is the hop. So on the hop, if we demonstrate that again, we're going to reverse pivot into all our moves. We'll get here. I'm going to take one hard dribble, hop in, make my layup. So fast motion, get here, turn our shoulders, and finish. Notice as I come in, my shoulders turn. So I get here, here, I'll stretch the ball and make that finish. Okay? So you want to turn your shoulders off that pound. So you can it, bring your shoulders here, get them parallel to the sideline, and stretch your arm out for that finish. Give it a shot, with the hop, with the hop first. Good, nice. Good. One more of those. Good. Go. <laughs> And how many, you do this for one minute, as many as you can make it a minute on each move. So it's five minutes, basically. Yeah, so, we go okay. five minutes, we'll take a minute, 
in between. Sometimes people need a little bit longer when they first start if they're really out of shape. So right. And a half, sometimes you shoot free throws or something. But it's about for conditioning, right? Instead of adding extra sprints or something like that, I just cut the time on the okay. rest time in between. So I got some guys, my college guys, my starting point guard, I cut down to 30 seconds in between his reps. And go five minutes to 30 seconds in between. And if you're going as hard as you can, you're going to get again. really, really tough. Okay, so the first one was? The first one was our power. Uh, power. The second one is our stretch. Now, that's on the hop. Some people find it easier to do it just on a one-two step. Okay. So all that looks like, right, I get here, and come here, one step, two step, and come out and finish it, okay? I get here, boom, one step, two step, and go finish it. Very similar, right? But I think we've worked with you before, and the hop seems to work better, so we're just going to stick He's with He's been that. doing the hop. I've seen the hop in games. So the, the hop, I think, is what we're going to stick with. Okay. okay. So, now, so first one is power, the second one is our stretch. Now it's the same foot, same hand stretch finish, which is the, this stuff is the that we've third one on off of our um, our drag series. And all that is off that attack. You're just coming here, right? You're jumping off of the left foot when you're finishing with the left hand, and on the right side, you'll be jumping off of the right foot with the right hand. Okay, so it's just a quick, clever finish. It kind of catches the defense off guard. You get it off quickly before the help side has time to come over and, and help over. Now, again, this one is when you've beaten that defender already. So you don't want to do it when they're in front of you on the side. A lot of times they can get there. So move, move two and three are when you got them on your butt. Exactly. Okay. So first, first one's when they're on your hip. Kind of first one, okay. You're right, you're driving them in, and then last second you come in. This one's for when you got to beat already. So you got past them, you need to make your finish. So the same foot, same hand stretch finish looks like this. Here. Here. Uh, real quick. I'm missing a lot of them right now because I'm not warm up. And he's old. He's getting old. Boom. Okay. The only thing I want you to notice about this one, you want to get it off quick. Don't let the ball touch the opposite hand. So this isn't a guy who can't move. You hear? If I'm going right, I take that dribble and I just keep it in the right hand as I go up. You want it to be really quick, okay? One, two, right? Pop it, take a step with your left, take a step with your right, and just bring it straight up into the finish. Okay. Good, just like that. Is he supposed to stretch on this? Yeah, so on this one, I'm more worried about the quickness. Okay. How fast you can get up over the shot than I am on the How fast you can get up, okay. All right, that be good for that one. You worked on that a lot, got a lot better. So yeah, number one is our power finish. Number two is our stre regular stretch finish. Yep. Number three is our same foot, same hand stretch. Finish. Okay. Now we go to our last two. Our first one is our spin. Okay, so on the spin, you're gonna take two dribbles now. One to attack, and then one to pound for your spin. Remember that second dribble, you should hear the difference. As you pound it, you're using that momentum to get you into that quick spin to go to the opposite side. Okay, so if I'm on my left side again, we'll come out with that reverse pivot. I'm attacking. Up, right? Again, you should hear the difference on that second dribble. If you want to listen to it again, I'm here. I right, attack. Spin. Go finish. Okay? You're pounding it. You're spinning quickly, you're finished on the opposite side of the rim. Just a couple of those straps. Now, one thing I'm going to tweak, okay? We haven't emphasized this, that's partially my fault, but one of the great things about these drills, rolling them out to yourself, you can work on your rip throughs. Like hundreds of reps per workout if you do it correctly. Explain what you mean by a rip through so, for them. Right now, I'm kind of catching. Turning, you're getting set up. That's not really working on a game like move attacking the basket. What I mean by working on your rip through, we talked about seat belt in the basketball, getting it from your shoulder to your chest, staying low, attacking the defender's hip, right? That outside hip. So when I get here, instead of just standing up, going off my rip, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna attack at game speed, I'm gonna stay low, I'm gonna imagine my defender in front of me, and I'm attacking that hip. Right, shoulder to hip, I'm seat belt in the basketball. Every I love that, I love that, the, the seat belt thing is, yeah. it's like Statue of Liberty, all that kind of stuff. Just like that. Seat belt is a great way to think yeah. about it, Drew. Every single time okay. you go through these, right, on both sides, I'm going this way, right, right shoulder, 
boom, it's a left hip every single time. If you do that, you're working on your rip throughs and your sweeps every single time when you're doing the reps. Not only are you working on your finishes or your shots, but you're also working on seatbelt. And the higher you go, the more you have to seatbelt because you're going to get a taken. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hit a couple of those. There you go. Good. Last one. All right, so we have our power finishes, our stretch finishes, our same foot, same hand stretch finishes, our spins, and now our sweep through is our fifth and final move that we're gonna go Which kind of has two different things you can do. There's two slight variations um, that you can do with, with it. And I think that yeah. the reason why I keep it in the same one is that you find one that you're really good at and one that works best for you, and you stick with that. Okay, so like for me, being a shorter player, playing with guys that are pretty much all over 6'2", and you know, up when right. in college. Didn't make sense for me, right? Bring the ball up with that rainbow smash because I'm bringing it up to their level. I'm already lower than them. So it didn't make sense for you to put it in their face. I can just touch it and keep it down here. Now, for you, you might find somebody that's a little bit smaller than you that's guarding you if you get one of those smaller guards up under you, right? So you can you need to bring it over with that rainbow smack, okay? But essentially, there's two ways to do it. There's the rainbow smack that I just mentioned where you Rainbows. Just like the spin, you're pounding it hard, you should hear the difference. So it's a big pound. Yep, big yep. pound. On the rainbow smack, you're pretty up, right? Kind of going over the rainbow, the ball goes over your head, you smack it on the other side. So that's going kind of over that defender's outstretched hand and they keep it low, right? You want to get it over there as so you go over, and then you get to the other side and finish. So full speed, that'll look like this. Here. Notice the ball comes over my head, and then I go finish. Now the other one, the football tuck, we're just gonna keep it low. So that one on that attack, right, you're low. And on that pound, you're gonna tuck the ball like a running back. You get your hands over it like this, so that way if anybody smacks in there, you have control of the basketball, okay? The tucking here is the opposite side, and then bring it out to go into your finish, okay? You can choose. During this one minute, you can mix it up and do whatever you want until you kind of find your niche. Once you find one that you really want to go with, stick with that one. Oh, side, side. Remember, make a delivery. Elbows wide. Football tuck it, elbows wide. Yeah, if that was a rainbow smack, it wasn't high enough. Good, so on that, on that football tuck, right? If we have our hands on the ball here, come through like this, that ball can still be hit out of our hands. Can't have our hands behind the basketball, right? We literally have to tuck it. They're going to smack and pound and punch at the basketball the higher up you go, right? And if you don't <laughs> tuck that basketball with both hands like a running back would, that thing is gonna come out. You're not gonna get that foul call the higher you go up, okay? Those little reach-ins and smackdowns, not gonna get them. So when I say tuck, I don't mean bring it close to your body and keep your elbows in. I mean tuck, get your elbows out, right? Be aggressive with the basketball and seek out the contact if you have to, but you gotta protect this rock. This is your baby. You can't let this go anywhere, okay? Tuck it and bring it back out when you're ready to go finish. Take that extra dribble. Yep, one more dribble. Good, man, I get the elbows out a little bit wide. Don't forget to work on those rip throughs. Every time, every time. Better, 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 good. So, those are our five. Power finish, finish, stretch finish, same foot, same hand stretch finish, the spin, and then the sweep through. Okay. Are the five for the one minute finishing drills. Again, remember, it's one minute on, and then as you get better, you lower that time for the, the um, break time in between. I would suggest starting off, at least a minute, okay? You'll feel it, especially around that third or fourth set, and then lower the time as you see fit, kind of help build that endurance and get that quickness um, to get your... Thanks for watching, Coach. Make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Make sure you subscribe so you get notified every time we come back on, but you will not be disappointed with teachhoops.com. 14-day free trial. Let's go check it out. Have a great day.